Hey everyone, Holly Scott here, and today I'm going to cover Upside Down by John Johnson on the ukulele, the best instrument in the world. Uh, before I get started, my quick housekeeping. Uh, number one, I try to keep my videos under seven minutes. I just don't have a long attention span. Uh, number two, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just a guy who loves the ukulele, and I think everyone should have one. Uh, number three, um, I do not sing like Pavarotti, not even a little bit. And number four, if you do like what you hear or you learn something, hit the subscribe button. Um, now let's talk about this great song and a couple of things that make it great. One, it's just a fun song to play. Uh, and another thing that makes it a great song is that um, the chord progression that it has and the structure of its chords are, are very instructional without it being too instructional. And so this... This, core, this song, I should say, helps you branch out a little bit more without really realizing it, which is a really cool thing. Um, so, there are only five chords, and um, four of those chords share a similar structure. Um, so, let's just dive right into this. The first chord we're going to talk about is an E, and I play a cheating E. Uh, it's very functional. Uh, I do play a traditional E at times, but for the most part, I'll just play a cheating E and it doesn't really uh, affect anything. And so to do that, all I do is, is I take my ring finger and I bar the fourth uh, fret. And that is my cheating E. Um, the next chord we're going to talk about is a B. And to do that, I bar with my first finger uh, the second fret. And then I take my second finger and I put it on the uh, third fret, third string. And I take my third finger and I put it on the fourth fret, fourth string. That's a B. Now to play an A, um, which is our next chord, we're going to do it, I'm going to show you two different forms, and I'm going to explain why you should play it in two different ways. But for this song, we're going to play a traditional A, but for right now, I'm going to show you another, another uh, form of it. And so, if I take this B, and I just lift my finger up, my index finger, and I keep these two fingers where they are, but I slide everything down to frets, to where my second finger is on the first fret second string, or first fret third string, and my third finger is on the uh, second fret fourth string. That's an A, right? And it's really helpful to be able to play an A with these two fingers as well as the traditional way. Uh, there are times when you're playing a bar chord, for instance, that B, and you need to slide it down to an A. That's all I need to do. I need to just lift the finger and slide it down. For this song, you're going to want to play it the traditional way, which is going to be the first um, finger on the first fret third string and the uh, second finger on the second fret fourth string. And the reason why this is so beneficial is because our next chord, F sharp minor, um, all we really need to do to this A is take our ring finger and put it on the second fret second string. That's an F sharp minor. And if we want to play a G sharp minor, the only thing that we need to do is slide everything up, this entire form, up to the third fret. Right? And then take our pinky finger and drop it on the first string sixth fret. And that, oh, hang on. There we go. That is our G sharp minor right there. And in, the, in the, uh, uh, the kind of bridge in this song, it, it will actually go from a G-sharp minor to an F-sharp minor, back to that G-sharp minor, and then to an A. And the only thing I did was slide my fingers around a little bit and pick up one finger or put one finger down. And in the chorus, it's actually going to go from an F-sharp minor to an A. And all we have to do is pick up our, our third finger. So those are the uh, five chords for this song, and um, make sure your dog has fleas. My dog has fleas, so that's a good day. Who's to say what's impossible will be forget? This world keeps spinning in with new day. I can feel a change in everything. And as the surface breaks, reflections fade. But in some ways they remain the same. And as my mind begins to spread its wings, there's no stopping curiosity.
sing and dance on Mother Nature's song And I want this feeling to go away And there you have it, Upside Down by Jack Johnson on the ukulele. Uh, if you like what you heard, hit the subscribe button. Uh, until next week, love each other.